It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics on V103. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Time for the Trending Topics being brought to you by American Family Insurance. Your dream is out there. Go get it. We'll protect it. Find out more at amfam.com. Let's see. Where to begin? Let's begin with NeNe Leaks. NeNe Leaks off the hook, right? So they caught her coming out of a uh, uh, out of a, a dinner or something. She apparently had a couple, 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 maybe four, five, six, seven drinks. Asked her a couple questions about Kenya Moore. Let's listen to the questions and the answers. Do you think Kenya should press charges against Portia for the physical altercation? Kenya is stupid. She needs to fix her fake booty. Do you think Portia's going to be off the show? She shouldn't get kicked off. What they need to do is kick Kenya's fake booty off. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me how you really feel, Nene. Tell me how you really feel. I guess you already did. Uh, speaking of fake booties, um, Kim and Kanye, right? They're supposed to get married, right? Um, rumor has it they're going to spend around $124,822.50 on each of their wedding guests. Let me say it again. Basically, $125,000 on each wedding guest. They expect to tie the knot in Paris next month in front of 200 of their loved ones. Last week, those lucky enough to be asked to attend were given hand-delivered uh, invites, which each cost $1,000 to produce. Uh, a source told a magazine, Kim and Kanye wanted the invites to be as lavish as possible. They commissioned a costume designer to create gold silk boxes containing a photo album of their fairy tale romance and silk invite etched in real Gold leaf with the clasp of natural pearls. $1,000 per invite. Now, there's all kinds of gifts. You know, they, they, they have goodie bags. $500 bottles of Bollinger Champagne. $200 creme de la meh. De la meh products. Handmade souvenir trinkets with Kim and Kanye's initials. Uh, etched in Swarovski crystals. Bottles of scents from local perfumeries and $250 virtue uh, vouchers to treatments at the hotel spa. Now, I must say, I am still waiting on my invite. <laughs> you want to spend $125,000 on me, ain't you? Maybe not. In any case, somebody who's probably going to get a gift bag would be Beyonce. She might want to save it and hock it in case this lawsuit really goes through. Have you heard? Two people say they arrived at the United Center in Chicago last December with admission tickets before the doors were scheduled to open so they can get good seats at the Beyonce show, right? But when the doors did open, the women were caught in a stampede. You know how the beehive do. They ran in the building, and both of them were knocked unconscious and left them with several broken bones. Perhaps worse than the broken bones, they both had to go to the hospital and never got to see the show. The women allege that Beyonce, the arena and promoter, should have done a better job in preparing for fans to enter. They are suing for undisclosed damages. I don't, I, 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 I. What would you say if you woke up like this? Anyway. <laughs> If you miss any part of these trending topics, please hop on over to vdash103.com where you can not only listen to it in its entirety, you can see my I woke up like to his face. Three things you need to know. All next on V103.